If you're looking for new clients, you want to start freelancing, you want to have some side income, you need to watch this video. I'm about to give you a strategy to help you get more clients locally. Guys, if you're ready for this, make sure you watch this video. All right, guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy's back and I done did it again one more time. This time around, we want to go in and start getting some clients locally. So let's go into it. The strategy is very simple. You have three steps to the strategy. Number one is finding the industries and local businesses that are in your area. Okay. The second step is reaching out to those businesses and telling them the services that you can provide for them. Okay. And number three is actually getting the work done for them at a timely manner so you can go in and make the most money out of your services. You do not want to be building stuff from scratch because it doesn't make sense. And most of these businesses are not going to have the budget to pay you for custom code. Now, if they do and you see an opportunity, man, God bless you and go for it. But most of these businesses, what they need is something that is a site that is like straightforward, has their information, some images about their product, right? Making sure that the SEO is set up properly. And then from there, you can go in and sell them on other services like email automations, maybe helping them with the ads, setting up some type of retargeting ads, right? So maybe Google ads, right? Things like that. There's a lot of opportunities once you get them to get started with at least building their site and modernizing it. Once you have your list, of businesses that you want to go and target. You have things like salons, you have things like lawn care, you have things like deli, you have things like restaurants, right? Once you have a specific list of the type of business that you want to reach out to, guess what? You want to come to Google Maps. And in here, we're going to start with this example, which is lawn care, okay? We search on lawn care. One thing that you're going to notice is that most of the businesses that pop up on Google Maps, they all have websites. And this is something that you gotta show to your clients. You have to show them that when you have a website, right? Google actually goes in and puts you on the top of the list. If you don't have a website, it's gonna be very difficult for you to show up on the top of the list because there's not enough information about you. You see, it took us forever to find one that don't have a website attached to their business. Okay, Gomez here, all the way in Oxford. Now, you will find some opportunities when you zoom in to specific areas, like you see this Decatur, right? You're searching here, right? You could see that there's some websites, right? TNS, Affordable Lawn Care, that will pop up. But most businesses, that's in this area, they're going to basically have a website attached to their business. And this is something that you gonna use to get those clients so they can understand this. It's like, hey man, you don't have a website, you're losing a lot of business because of that, right? Because Google is not going to show you to everyone uh, first. Another thing you're gonna go in is look businesses that do have a website. So you wanna go in and go through those and see if they have like a modern design or if you can improve on what they have, maybe their websites look like they've been here since like, you know, 2012, like especially then you see, like this is very old looking site. You can actually create something much better for them. Okay. And those are people that you want to go and put on a list. Okay. Look at this one. This is crazy, right? You can definitely help this guy build something much better than this, okay? So once you have that list, that you wanna have is about the services and businesses that you wanna reach out to. Then from there, you wanna create a list of potential clients that you could have. Those are the people that you wanna reach out to and, and hit them up. Now, once you have this list of the potential clients that you're going to basically reach out to them, you wanna go in and reach out to them through two different ways, through their phone, and their emails, okay? Now the phone is very important because you could reach out to someone and say, okay, maybe they have an email set up because they don't have a website. Um, so go to them and tell them, hey man, uh, listen, help you out with your website, right? We can go in and build your whole site at an affordable price, something that makes sense for them, right? Not every business has two, $3,000 to go in and build a website. This is why it's so important for you guys to not try to build things from scratch, because if it doesn't make sense for you to build something from scratch for a business, 
don't do it, okay? Remember, it's money, right? So you have to make sure you take care of your time so you can make the most money, okay? So now, once you reach out to these people, you tell them about the websites that you can build for them. You can go in and upsell them on email automations. You can um, sign them up for things like, you know, help with their ads, right? Um, building an email list, right? Just set up some automations for their business to get more sales, right? And more return customers, now that's up to you, you know, the skills you have. If all you could do is just build a website, then just build them a website. But if you really want to make the most money, you want to go in and get these other skills to help businesses make money. Okay. This is what we do at codingphase.com. By the way, if you still haven't checked us out on codingphase.com, guys, go check it out, man. It don't cost you nothing to go check out the site, right? There's a lot of stuff that we're teaching there and we're helping people get into the game, right? If you want to get started as a developer if you're somebody that's already a developer and you want to start making some side income like this is where we specialize we specialize in teaching things that people can make money with right not only on a full-time job but also too on the side and guess what right now everything that we have on the website is 50 percent off Every single thing on the site, 50% off, right? Diamond membership, 50% off. Gold membership, 50% off. Entrepreneur, email marketing for developer course. Everything 50% off. Like literally, we want to learn as far as like, you know, being able to become a developer or making income on the side. Guess what? 50% off. Go take this, right? Take advantage of that. Now, let's get back to the video, right? Now, if calling people on the phone is not your thing, another way you can actually go and succeed with the strategy is by emailing them, okay? If you find their emails somewhere online, maybe you're on Google searching their name and searching their business, usually you will find uh, people's emails that way. Um, you can also search through their website. If they have like an old shitty website, go in there, get their emails and then you want to send them on their email a list of all the things that you're going to be able to provide for them and have like a really good looking email don't send them a random bs email you want to go in and send them a real good looking email um, that looks nice and professional you can definitely do this if you are an email developer if you understand how to create emails create something that's really uh good them so it could look like a real professional company that's reaching out to them Okay, now the main purpose for the email is to really get those people to go to your website. Once they go to your website, you got to have Google tags, uh, TikTok tags, uh, meta tags, right? Facebook tags, etc. right? Facebook pixels. You want to have all of those things already set up on the website. And if you don't know how to do any of this, this is why you got to come to codingface.com. Once those people come to your website, you're going to tag them and you're going to create retargeting ads. These retargeting ads are going to be much cheaper for you because these are people that target individuals that you reached out to. And if they went to your website, it's because they need your services or are interested in it. So now with ads, you're going to go in and explain to them how you can go and solve their problem. But it's not going to cost you that much money to reach out to them because it's going to be much cheaper since you are targeting a warm audience, not a cold audience that never seen you. Okay. Now, another way that you can also reach out to these businesses, and this is the old school way, but the old school way works, especially for the old school folks. And it's sending people a personalized letter. Hey, John, this is John Smith, right? Uh, from designs. Listen, I've seen your website. And guess what? We need to improve it. It's actually hurting you. And it's hurting you because of this, this, okay? And send a letter to their house. Send a letter to their business. They have, you know, people online, bro. Like, you could literally reach out to people and send them a letter. It's going to cost you like a dollar, right? I don't know how much uh, a, a post stamp costs. My wife usually is the one that's sending out letters for me. But man, it's going to be like a dollar. And you could probably go in, go to Kinko's, go to you know, fit, you know, printouts for these letters, right? Where you're sending them a personalized letter. Hi, my name is Tata from LIC Designs. Da -da -da. Listen, this is the things that we can do for your business. I want to help you out. You're actually missing out on a lot of opportunities because of this, this, this. Okay, here's my website. 
Okay, so you want to drive them back to your website, no matter what, and tell them, hey, this is the designs that we can do for you. This is the type of work, you know, we can do for you. Like you want to put yourself out there, guys. And the last tip that I'm going to give you guys is if you don't want to have to build things from scratch, go to themeforest.net. Right. I'm not paid by this company. This is just a company that I use for everything. Every time that I get a client, somebody wants me to build them something. I got an idea of building something. I don't go in and build things from scratch. I know I can build it from scratch. If I worked at a company full time, if I'm at Google and they're paying me to build things from scratch and paying me two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars, it makes sense for me to go and build it from scratch. But if I have a client that's reaching out to me, he's willing to pay a thousand, two thousand dollars. Guess what? I'm not starting this from scratch. I'm saving myself the time and I'm going in searching on HTML templates or maybe WordPress templates or Shopify templates. And I'm going to search long care, right? Coming here and see what type of services is out there, right? Service websites come over here. Look at what they have. Okay. This could be like a very simple site. Okay. You just made this person look like a million bucks. Okay. Come in, put right images. If you need to use uh, mid journey to create some other images, uh, similar to this, you can go ahead and use it. If you have uh, images from the client, go ahead and put it there and guess what? You just went in, put it on Netlify or Vercel. You connected it to a domain and guess what guys? <laughs> You just built a site for a local business, okay? And you set them up. Now, of course, depending on, on what their needs might be, you might have to use a WordPress website. You might have to use a Shopify website. You might have to use uh, maybe a, a Wix uh, studio website, right? It all depends on what you need uh, to build as companies, right? Now, if you need to build something from scratch, like someone comes and says, hey, man, I would love to have an application where I have all of my employees, right? All of the guys that are doing, let's say, pools, right? Pools are big, right? Pool cleanings and all of that. Let's say you bump into a company that they want to create a system where they could track all of their employees and pass them schedules online, etc. And guess what? That's right there is a really big application you could build that with a custom app right at that point you're going to tell them hey man this is going to take this much time this is going to be the budget is this something that you're willing to pay for once we build it we built it for you and we could give it support again you're going to have a custom application that's catered to your business but if it's, that's not the case don't waste your time trying to build things from scratch it just doesn't make sense because if it takes you two months to build something from scratch and the person got a thousand dollars, you're going to be working for what? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, you're going to be working for literally like $500 every month. That makes no sense. Okay. Build something quickly so you can make the most money. Okay, guys. Now, again, if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. If you like this video, give me some comments in, in the comment section. Tell me what you think about this strategy. Uh, do you feel like you're going to go for it? You're going to try it out. Let me know in the comment section, okay? Guys, it's the channel. I'll see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Peace.